Welcome back. In our last video, we talked about Signal R. I talked about some concepts like what a hub is, what are some hub methods, and what are client hub methods. And also, we could how to um, implement Signal R on our client side of JavaScript, where we look at how to connect to a hub, and also how to trigger server hub methods and, and um, how to subscribe to client hub methods or event method. So, if, if you haven't watched that video, I have a link right on the side of the screen, click on that link and that link will take you to where you can see this video. That being said, if you have yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so that each time I release videos, you get notified. So what we're doing today is we're going to be triggering hub methods or sending messages from our server code and let's look at how we can do that. So right here, I have my chat application opened in Visual Studio. And what I'm going to do right there is I'm going to create a new page. So on that page, is, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create um, a new page, new result page. So add result page and let's give this a name. And I'm going to call this one server message. Let's add that page. So right here, I have my server message model. And of course, I also have the server message.cs html as well too so this is our actual result page and it's using the server message model so when a user visits the server message um, path that would of course render this html i have, I have right here so back to my server message model what i'm going to do right there is i'm going to include default constructor so we we'll have ctor tab twice and have my default constructor and I'm going to inject this with generic um, object. So let's have iob context, iob context, and this takes as parameter the hub class, and the hub class is named chat hub. And also, I'm going to name this parameter. Let's have this as hub context, and let's do some imports. So import so alt enter. Let's import namespace for iob context and also alt enter let's also import namespace for chat hub and i'm going to initialize my parameter assign that to a field so let's create an initialize field of context and i'm going to rename this so take out the, the this keyword attach underscore do the same for variation at very top so underscore hub context so what we're going to do right there is once um, okay let's this is an error, okay? So what we we'll do right here is we're going to call or reference our hub context within the get method. So each time the path server message is in access, the onGet method is triggered. So right in my onGet method, let's make reference to our hub context dots, and we're going to access the client's property, the all property dot send async so the goal for us is we want to send a message to the receive the receive received received message event method or client method so all clients that are subscribed to the receive message the receive message event method we're going to be sending them a message so right here i'm going to be sending this data and right there i have an anonymous data so with the very first key as user and right there we'll have the server name the second key as message so message and the value there that just have hello from server all right so now the next thing i'm going to do right there is now before we run the application if you notice you can see that what we're doing right there is we're basically triggering um the received message um, client um, method. So what we're doing right there is we're sending message to all clients that are subscribed to the received message method. So and this what I have here um, is the same thing as what I have. So in my chat hub class, I have a send message method, and within that method, you can see I have the same thing right there. So client all the send async receive message and we're also sending data so it's the same thing i have also in my server message model 
All right, so what I'm gonna do right there is let's run this application. So I'll click on the play button to run my application and let's see what we have here. So right here I have my application up and what I'm gonna do right there is I'm going to add a new tab and I'm gonna move that tab out, out to the right, right? So let's copy the URL and I'm gonna copy that and paste it second tab and I will navigate to the path so slash let's have server message okay enter as soon as I hit that URL immediately my client app receives that message so you can see the client list that listens on the receive message instantly you can see that we have the message username server and the message hello from server and of course you can also send a message from a client Username Henry Hello and also this message is picked up right here as well too. Alright, that's it for this video. In our next video, what we're looking at is we're going to be looking at how to create a strong typed pop class and also we'll do some refactoring. Stay tuned.